So High Sky Wars is obviously one of the biggest games in Minecraft Bedrock and it's hard to see why because in High Sky Wars it has some of the fastest action PvP you'll ever see in any Sky Wars game. It's really fast, it's really fun and there are so many High Sky Wars tryhards, it's hilarious. So many people who know how to play High Sky Wars, clutching, bridging, but then there are the other people. The Steves, people who don't know how to bridge, people who fall into the void after 10 seconds, they're just those people and it pains me to see them. So today in this video I'm going to be showing you tips to get better at Hive Sky Wars. I'm going to be showing you a lot of essential skills you're going to need to perfect if you want to get better at Hive Sky Wars. Let's commence! Alright, so the four main skills you need to perfect in order to become a god at Sky Wars. One is your game sense, like when to use knockback memos, what block to use and when. You have to be very sharp in your game and see what's going on and you have to think really fast. Another is your bridging style, how you bridge, what style of bridging, not the Steve kind. Another is clutching, which people say is not that important, but if you want to be a Skywars tryhard, you need to learn how to clutch. And finally, your PvP skills, obviously. So first is your game sense. It's how you think mid-game. You have to think really sharp and come up with plans for any situation. Say you're in chain armor, uh, you're in chain armor, and a full diamond juggernaut starts running towards you. You have to use game sense to realize you're not going to win a one-on-one -on -one PvP. So the only chance you have of winning is either doing a bridge fight, where if you're lucky, you can knock them off a bridge, or you have to trap them. See? Game sense. You need to think of everything you have to do, not just PvP yourself out of every situation. Unless you're Technoblade. In that case, go hard ahead fighting. And you'll be able to think of what to do and when. This is especially true for clutching as well. Just you need to be able to think. Here's another example of game sense. Let's say you see a full diamond person running towards you, and you have a sharpness two sword and an ember sword. You don't want to waste time hitting the, the diamond person by from switching between sharpness and ember sword, do you? Well, that's actually wrong. Cause if you had a lot of game sense, you'd know that Ember Swords and Sharpness 2 Swords do the same amount of damage to a full Diamond Juggernaut. It was stated in Potato Pie's video, you should go check him out, I'll link him in the description, that that's just how it works. They have they do the same amount of damage to someone with full, with full Diamond. See? Game sense. You need to be able to think really fast on your feet in order to survive any situation. The next thing you want to get started on is your bridging style. Now, in Minecraft Java Edition, there are a lot of bridging styles, but in Minecraft Bedrock, there are so many bridging styles, it's unbelievable. But luckily for Minecraft Bedrock, it has some of the easiest bridging styles ever. It's as simple as literally placing the blocks as you go, as you can see in this video here. But that many will there are many more ways to bridge. If you're using a computer, you can jump bridge and that is much faster. If you're using a phone, you can still sprint bridge and it's much faster. There are many bridging styles that you need to learn because if you're a Steve bridging one block per five seconds, you're not going to get anything done because I, I assure you, you're going to get shot off the map. So you just need to practice on your bridging style. Find a way to bridge really nicely. It's really simple. There's a wonderful tutorial for Minecraft Pockets Edition by Hydrobon20. I'll link him in the description. So yeah. All right. So next up is clutching. Now, this is Sky Wars. A lot of unpredictable things are going to happen. You could lag out. You could get teamed on. People could be cross teaming. So a lot of stuff can happen. And you need to know what to do in every situation. Like I said in game sense. 
Now, let's say you're fighting someone and you get launched off the map. You need to be able to clutch your way to survive. The two, the two easiest types of clutching are the block clutch, where you place a block to save your life, whether it's by the edge of the map or at the bottom of the map or whatever, and the ender pearl clutch, where you throw an ender pearl to save your life if you have been thrown off the void, if you have been thrown into the void. The ender pearl clutch is a little harder than the block clutch, but there's a wonderful tutorial made by Pada iOS that I'll link in the description as well. He teaches you how to end up a clutch. Basically, you just need to aim towards the land. You aim towards the islands, then throw the end up out. It's as simple as that. Then there's an the end up and block clutch, where you throw an end up and save yourself with a block as well. This is the much harder one and much cooler one. So you need to be able to clutch to be able to do well in high sky wars. And the last skill you need to perfect to be able to become a to be able to become a god at High Sky Wars is PvP, obviously. Now this High Sky Wars, you can trap, you can clutch, but none of that's going to matter if you can't win a, sim a simple PvP. You need to have some basic level of PvP skills. For for Minecraft Bedrock Edition on the piece on a computer. You need to be able to aim well while fighting. You need to be able to strafe by pressing the W and A keys while aiming at your target and attacking them. You also need to implement game sense into what you're doing, like I said before. If you're using Minecraft Pocket Edition, it's much harder because you only have two thumbs. But I suggest that you use Minecraft Pocket Controls instead of Minecraft Split Controls. Minecraft Split Controls are the controls with the little cross in the middle. You need to be able to use micro pocket controls because it makes PvP a lot easier because you can touch all over the screen. You need to work on your aiming, you need to work on all that. You just there are many tutorials online about how to get better at PvP on Micro Pocket Edition, on Micro Java Edition, and on Micro Bedrock Edition. So I really don't need to say much there. You just need to get good at PvP. You don't have to be a god, you just need all these basic senses of game sense. Bridging, clutching, and PvP to be able to become good at Skywars. And before you know it, you'll be level 14 in no time. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. These have been my tips on how to get better at Skywars. These are the things you're going to have to master so that you can become a god of Skywars and get to level 40 really soon. Thank you guys for watching and bye.